dreams, in a way, are the most creative time we ever have. The, the creativity, the uh, effortlessness of the stream of thought and visual imagery and, uh, and so on that we have in dreams. And you have to remember that we dream for a couple of hours a night, but we only remember about 30 seconds of it if we're lucky. But we know that people dream that much, so we're constantly having these inner theaters, uh, these inner movies going on in our heads. It's very mysterious, not very much is known about dreams, but it's one of the three basic states of consciousness. So we have waking, we have slow wave sleep, where the EEG goes sort of like that. We have dreaming, and dreaming is a conscious state. That's one of the things we know, because the brain looks exactly the way it does when the brain is awake. And we know that the little chemical switches that turn the brain into waking states are pretty much the same during dreaming. So we have these three states that traditionally, of course, have been known for a long time. Uh, and then uh, the claim, of course, is in the Vedanta tradition and very much other meditation traditions that there is a fourth state uh, as well on, on top of that. Uh, and I think, I think, and this is very optimistic, that in neuroscience and psychology, we're beginning to have the first glimmerings, just the beginning of an understanding of what the fourth state may be. And that fourth state is tra traditionally called pure consciousness and consciousness without content. So I think we can tell a plausible tale about that right now. Uh, and I'm sure that a lot of my colleagues in science will say that's outrageous and it's just not true and so on. And a few people who study these things very intensively might even agree. But science is, is that kind of thing. It's, it's a big argument, basically.